parts of ear, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. What are parts of the ear? The human ear has three main parts. Outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The outer ear includes the pinna, or auricle, and the ear canal, which leads to the eardrum, or tympanic membrane. The middle ear contains the ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes. These are tiny bones that amplify sound vibrations. And the eustachian tube, which helps regulate pressure. The inner ear houses the cochlea, which is responsible for hearing. And the vestibular system, which is involved in balance. Let's discuss them in details. Number 1. Outer ear. The outer ear, also known as the auricle or pinna, is the visible portion of the ear that projects from the side of the head. Its primary function is to collect and direct sound waves into the ear canal. It's composed of cartilage and skin and includes several distinct parts. Helix, antihelix, tragus, antitragus, and lobule. The ear canal, or external auditory meatus, extends inward from the concha, a depression in the outer ear and ends at the tympanic membrane, eardrum. Here's a breakdown of the outer ear's anatomy. Oracle, also known as pinna. Oracle consists of following parts. Helix. It is the curved rim of the outer ear. Anti-helix. It is an inner ridge that curves around the concha. Tragus. It is a prominence in front of the ear canal opening. Anti-tragus. It is a small prominence opposite the tragus. Lobule. It is the soft, fleshy earlobe. And concha. It is a deep bowl-shaped depression, leading to the ear canal. External auditory canal, also known as ear canal. It is a tube-like passage that extends from the concha to the eardrum. It's lined with skin-containing hair and specialized glands that produce earwax, also known as cerumen. The outer third of the canal is cartilage, while the inner two-thirds is bony. Tympanic membrane, also known as the eardrum. It is a thin oval membrane that separates the outer ear from the middle ear. It vibrates in response to sound waves. The second part of ear is middle ear. The middle ear, also known as the tympanic cavity, is an air-filled space within the temporal bone. It's crucial for sound transmission, converting sound waves from the eardrum into mechanical vibrations that are then sent to the inner ear. Key components include the tympanic cavity, the auditory ossicles, malleus, incus, and stapes, and the eustachian tube. Here's a breakdown of the middle ear's anatomy. Tympanic cavity. It is the central air-filled space where sound vibrations are processed. Auditory ossicles. These three tiny bones, malleus, incus, and stapes, are linked together forming a chain that amplifies and transmits sound vibrations from the eardrum to the oval window of the inner ear. Eustachian tube. This tube connects the middle ear to the nasopharynx, the back of the throat, allowing for pressure equalization between the middle ear and the outside environment. Tympanic membrane, also known as eardrum, it separates the outer ear from the middle ear, vibrating in response to sound waves. Epitympanic recess. It is an area superior to the tympanic membrane, also part of the middle ear. Mastoid cells. These are air-filled spaces within the mastoid process of the temporal bone, connected to the middle ear. Muscles of the middle ear. The tensor tympani muscle and the stapedius muscle contract to dampen loud or low-frequency sounds, protecting the inner ear. The last part of ear is inner ear. The inner ear, a complex structure nestled within the temporal bone, plays a crucial role in both hearing and balance. It consists of a bony labyrinth filled with fluid called perilymph and a membranous labyrinth suspended within it filled with another fluid called endolymph. Key components include cochlea, which responsible for hearing, and 
the semicircular canals, along with the utricle and saccule, which are vital for balance. Here's a breakdown of the inner ear's anatomy. Cochlea, for hearing. The cochlea, shaped like a snail shell, is the hearing organ. It contains the cochlear duct, which houses the organ of corti, the sensory receptor for hearing. Hair cells within the organ of corti convert mechanical vibrations into electrical signals that the brain interprets as sound. Vestibular system, for balance. The semicircular canals, oriented in different planes, detect rotational movements of the head. The utricle and saccule, located within the vestibule, detect linear acceleration and head position. These structures work together to provide information about balance and spatial orientation, sending signals to the brain through the vestibular nerve.